guys it's a beginner here and today on our new episode i actually did not uh, uh, how would i say i did not like plan to do a video today but what i saw really shocked me it happens like in the first batch i was like planting and it happened again look at that tree you remember we like plant uh, we saw some seeds of bang, bang choy and look at that this was eaten like yesterday i was watering them and they were still here like it was eaten this as well look. there's only the stem which is left which really is, like i i saw that happen like I see in the previous uh, uh, batch that I was planting, it is my second batch now, and I saw that happen last time as well. And I already start searching for a snail because I know that this is a snail which are eating my bok choy. They like that. I was planting them here as well in the raised bed, and they was eating the leaf to the core, like to the stem only the stem was leaving and I s immediately start searching and look who I found guys it is this little guy right here which is eating like all my back small plant of bok choy which I'm trying to like raise and then transplant there in the leafy green section but yeah just to show you that in just a matter of like one night all my plant has like has gone it took me like two or three weeks like to grow them to a good size and to transplant them but then they are gone in just a matter of one night just to show that yeah that's that's crazy that's that's really surprising and disappointed at the same time but yeah just when i saw that i immediately say that i had like to show you that guys because yeah just to show you that if you are trying to grow plants like things like that will happen often to you but yeah and um, talking about that maybe i'm going to to show you a bit around how everything is going on so far I've been harvesting some of the onion leaf to like to use in the kitchen and uh, yeah I will have to like water them so far the tomato is doing okay and they are, they are starting to turn a lot green like a lot more leaf like green leaf or like uh, they are getting a lot more foliage and uh, that is definitely helping them as you can see it's looking a lot more green here the strawberry plants are doing okay as for the, the strawberry plants are doing okay i just have to water them and for the beans here is a watermelon and here is for the large large white white peas I have to wait and see a few more days how things are going but yeah tomatoes are doing great there's not much but they are doing great here's a good size one a decent I would say as for the other we have to grow a few more but yeah we are getting a lot of green uh, green leaves and green leaf why i do like the foliage a lot because you will have more it, it indicates that we will have a lot more flowers because if we have foliage it will send more it will create more like food for the for the plant to grow and yeah so far it's doing great it's a bit slow but I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that batch compared to the last batch we slowly are progressing each time and 
that's all that matters i will show you about uh, the pepper plant i already harvest them and eat them as well they were they were pretty good tasting and now i can see like i don't know if you can see because of the lightning but small pepper plants are starting to grow uh, not small pepper plants, but small pepper are starting to be formed i don't know if you can see like let me focus can you guys see Uh, yeah, I hope you can see like here. These are small pepper, and they are getting, they are being produced all over the plant. Here as well, on the bottom. I guess they are like starting to, like produce foliage again. I think I know why this pepper plant is like coiling this way because I, I don't know if you can like see on the leaf like underneath the leaf there are like small white stuff that's powdery mildew yeah the powdery mildew has been affecting that plant that's why it's looking so sad I will have to like fix that here leafy green section I would go green pretty well as you can see I had six more plants like this, like this bok choy here, I would have put, but this snail, talking about this snail, I have to remove it, I should not forget it, yeah, I would if the snail did not eat it, I would have six more plants like this, and that would be really nice for me, as for the dragon fruit, I think we are going to transplant them, because it is starting to, it's starting to shoot, shoot like, uh, I want to see sucker to the side, yeah. And uh, I think for the aubergine, they are on the resting period. They are they like half produced enough and uh, going to rest, and then produce maybe in another another three to four months. Yeah, I guess so. I will have to water them. That's really hot actually now. The sun is very high in the sky and uh, the potato is doing really really nice guys like I, I did not expect them to grow that much look at this potato guys like you remember we had only like four four potatoes that we put in that small container here and look at how much we have grown so far like that's like I said before that's my first time growing potato and I'm really amazed like for green it really is and that's exciting to see that i will uh, show you the progress that i have made with the small plants that i have the aubergine tomatoes and uh, pepper plants the two variety of pepper plants that i had in uh, the small nursery here let me show you how much they have grown so far As you can see here, these are aubergine, aubergine plant. The same variety that we had like outside of the net house and this one are red pepper plant and these, these, these here are yellow. Here are like my tomato plants that I have here, same variety, Roma, but yeah, we, we, like as you can see we have like significantly grow. These are leaf miner. If you guys are like wondering what of this weird like line on it leaf miner it is not like very detrimental to the plant but if you don't want to see that you can still spray some neem oil on that but yeah this are my progress so far but yeah guys <laughs> I did not expect my uh, we, we are doing great great progress I did not expect uh, the potato plant to like grow that well because it's my first time 
and uh, the small uh, nursery as well is doing great but yeah I should not forget this small snail which I think has run away again I will have to find it but uh, yeah we'll leave that I, I, I saw it I saw it it's here it's here I saw it I will have to remove it because this little guy ha right here is causing too much damage in my net house but yeah guys I'm really happy so far and really excited for the new clubs that we are going to have in our greenhouse uh, in our net house and uh, yeah I did not expect all that progress but that's that's really amazing and nice but potatoes are going well the bacteria is doing well as well I will have to resource some of them obviously because this little guy have eat all nearly all of my bacteria strawberries are growing peppers are like we are getting more small peppers again we will hopefully have to harvest good one this time and yeah can't complain because for a beginner that's that's really amazing and i hope you guys enjoy this this episode right here i will see you on the next one bye guys